It's the Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia, with your host, Bob Snap. Hi guys, welcome to the Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia. Appreciate you being here. Uh, appreciate all the prayers and everything for my, I'm getting a little bit better. Um, still kind of, mm, I had to, had to work at a church festival all day. So it's kind of, anyway, you don't want to hear about that. Um, today's video is Jack Prince who played Rafe Hollister, uh, and Ben Sewell. He was once offered, uh, a chance to play a regular on the Andy Griffith show and turned it down. Can you imagine Rafe Hollister being a regular on the Andy Griffith show? I think it'd have been great. Let's see why. Professional singer and occasional actor Jack Prince turned down a permanent role on the Andy Griffith Show. Uh, John Trethelin Upchurch Jr., known to fans by his stage name, Jack Prince, was an extremely talented singer. In fact, he first met Andy Griffith while the two were performing on Broadway together. The duo became fast friends before parting ways, Jack to pursue singing and Andy to pursue television acting. During an interview with The Bullet, Prince uh, once talked about his friendship with Andy. The article states, during the time uh, that they were together on Broadway, Jack and Andy became fast friends, sharing many of the same likes and dislikes and both appreciate uh, of the other's comedy and musical styles. Jack even said that Andy taught him to like black coffee. I used to stop by Andy's dressing room. He'd invite me to join him for coffee, but he didn't have any cream or sugar. First time I said I'd go get some from my dressing room, but Andy said, not any coffee like that. Would you be drunk in his dressing room, said Prince. So I learned to like my coffee black, just like Andy Griffith. A few years after Prince and Griffith parted ways, Prince continued to star in Broadway while Griffith landed in his new television show, The Andy Griffith Show. Griffith invited Prince to appear on the show. Prince ended up appearing in Mayberry six times, played a town moonshiner a few times, and he even got to sing with Andy Griffith during one episode. During the same interview, Prince talked about his connection with the Andy Griffith Show with director Bob Sweeney. Bob spoiled me. We had a great rapport, said Prince. Uh, I could read his face and he could read mine. I could never work with a director that I had that much affection for again. After his appearances on the show, the producers of the Andy Griffith Show approached Prince with an offer most people would have given anything for. They offered him a permanent role on the show, but he turned it down. Nah, fellas, I'm a singer. When I can't sing anymore, I'll see about acting, said Prince. Nevertheless, Prince said he was grateful for the time he spent on the Andy Griffith show. The ambiance on that show was so great. Such pride in what they were doing, said Prince. Everybody in the whole crew, from the writers right down to the lighting men, was proud of the work. And I'm proud to have been a small part of it. <coughs> that would have been a great uh, character. Uh, would have been a great um, addition to the show, I believe. Um, and perhaps if they would have had him as a permanent character, that maybe uh, even Warren wouldn't have been uh, needed. I think uh, some good scenes would have been with him and Goober. I think they would have been hilarious. Uh, he was already hilarious with Barney. So, hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, please don't forget about classic TV facts and trivia, classic rock and country music facts and trivia. Now, I know some of y'all like your rock and roll in your country. Now, get on over there and check those out. And you like other classic TV shows, so go over there and check the other one out. Do it. I'm sick. Please just do it for me. Make me feel better. Yeah. That's all I have for you. Have a great day. God bless. I'll be praying for you. Mm -hmm.